How to remove a grinding wheel. On this particular cylindrical grinder, we need to remove the OD grinding wheel so that we can do internal grinding. So I'm gonna go through the process on removing the OD grinding wheel on this, uh, on this cylindrical grinder. First thing I'm going to uh, take this splash guard out of the way. And remove, I'll put the bolt back in just so it's uh, it's handy. I've pushed in the e stop so I don't have an inadvertent startup. We want to do an ID process, and the uh, the OD wheel is in the way. So. I'm going to remove the splash guard. It just it has a couple of thumb screws on this particular model. And then the whole guard pops up out of the way. Now this, this door should be able to open up and reveal the hub. Balancing weights. And this hub is balanced to this wheel. So it's an assembly. So we're going to remove the whole assembly so that when it gets put back on, that it still, uh, it still stays as a balanced assembly. So in the center hub, we have a locking ring. And on the locking ring, it has one socket head cap screw that compresses the threads and locks the, the nut from walking. So I'm going to remove this socket head cap screw. Now we have a, a pin wrench. And the threads will be reversed uh, so it doesn't loosen while the wheel's spinning. I'm going to spin the nut out. You'll see what I mean about the nut is split. And when you put that socket head cap screw here, that binds the threads, so that prevents the nut from unwinding during motion. Okay, now I'm gonna use the same tool, but I'm gonna turn it around, and I'm gonna thread it in to the hub, and it clears the, it clears the spindle, but it grabs the hub, and what it does, it bottoms out, and it pops the hub off of the taper. So I just have to prepare myself um, that it doesn't slide off. Okay, and it's pulling off the taper now. Oh, shoot. Okay, so now I'll take this wheel to somewhere safe. All right. Now I'm going to put this door back on so the machine can be run with the IV spindle. I'm just going to tighten the bolts slightly so they don't come, they don't vibrate out during operation. I'm going to put this uh, locking socket head cap screw into the nut, and then this goes in our tool kit. And uh, I'm going to put the splash guard back on. We're going to tighten the thumb screws, and we're complete. Okay, this grinder is ready for ID grinding. The tools required for this job are a 13 millimeter wrench, a 17 millimeter wrench, a five millimeter um, hex wrench, and then the, the provided hub removal tool and lever.
Thank you for watching, and I would like to give special thanks to our star, Andrew Spencer. He is indispensable in the shop. As always, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.